Hi, in this tutorial we'll fix a bug in the Mac version of Zoom that prevents you from selecting ManyCam as your Zoom web camera. Now this bug is only in the Mac version of Zoom and the Windows version is perfectly fine. Alright, so let's get started. First we're going to open up Zoom and then choose Zoom US in the menu bar and then go to check for updates. If an update is available, click on update and then it'll download. And then once that's done, click on install. Next, go through the installer, click on continue, install, and then it might ask you to enter your administrator's username and password. Just enter that piece of information, click on install to upgrade Zoom. And once the installer is done, hit close. And then Zoom should open up again, and you'll notice that the latest version should be listed at the bottom. Okay, so now we can move on to the next step. First, we're going to close Zoom, and then we're going to open the terminal app. You can do that by clicking on the magnifying glass on the top right to open up the spotlight search, and then type in terminal. You should see the terminal app as the top hit. Click on that, and then it should open up terminal. Next, we're going to type in the following line, xcode-select space dash dash install, and then press enter, and then uh, it'll come up with a pop-up asking you to install the developer tools for Xcode. Click on install, and then uh, hit agree. And if you're on a laptop running off battery power, you want to plug in uh, because it's going to take anywhere between 5 minutes and 30 minutes to download and install the app. Okay, so now that the software was installed, you can click on Done. And then uh, the third step is to go back into Terminal and then type in the following code sign, all one word, space, dash, dash, remove, dash, signature, space, forward slash, capital A for applications, forward slash, zoom, dot, us, dot, app, forward slash, and then press the return key. All right, so then you'll see the cursor move down to the next line, and that step should be finished. So now let's move on to the final step, which is opening up Zoom again. And if Zoom was already open uh, and just minimized or something in the background, you actually need to quit Zoom and then open it up again. Otherwise, this next step won't work. Uh, when you open up Zoom, your Mac might ask you to accept permissions or access files, and then it'll ask you to enter uh, your password. Uh, just enter your password that you use to log in, and then choose Always Allow. And it's important that you choose Always Allow instead of Allow. Okay, and then once Zoom comes up, you can go into zoom.us at the top left and then choose Preferences. And then you might be asked to uh, allow Zoom to access the microphone and then also uh, uh, access the video. Just hit Accept and, or OK and then uh, Continue. OK, and then when you see your camera list, you can choose ManyCam and then uh, it should work, uh, be ready to go. I'm going to bring up ManyCam, and now it looks like uh, it's all set.